Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all. Thank you to the organizer uh, for inviting me give a talk today. So my name is Azura binti Chiso. I'm from the University of Malaysia. So for the title today, I give to, I want to present e-botanic system for agriculture applications. This is my online presentation today. So based on the title, actually it's quite general. But in this project, I just choose for overview the electronic notes system because I developed this system okay, for herb recognition system. So so the second one, I just overview what is the herb e herb recognition system. Start with the design prototype, experimental process, signal processing, and also classification. And last is the conclusions. Okay, the learning sensing or e sensing technology is developing field of the study that has enormously advanced over the decade. So, the sense has become a key element uh, in, the, in the development of many commercial industries. For example, electronic nose, electronic tongue, and uh, recently we have electronic eye. Okay, you can see in the table. Okay, so many industry use e in their applications. Okay, we have agriculture, we have cosmetic, environmental, food, food, military. Okay, there is the specific use types. Example, in the application agriculture, we have the plant disease analysis. We also have the preservation treatments, fresh, freshness. And also, you can see that in the medical, so we have the patient treatment solutions for organ failures, so many here. You can see the list. The one of the SNC is the electronic dose, which is the device consists of numerous types of aroma sensor technology, which intended to detect others of flavors. So, example, we can use in agriculture, food and beverage, security, environmental, cosmetic, and medical. So, this process is mimicking human olfactory system. This one is the example uh, human sensor fairness has been employed as the tools in the many application. We know known as the dynamic alphotometry. So there is main or the assessment and quantification tools including the trade industry for many years. So you can see example here. It's, uh, or the testing by using of the dynamic alphotometry. Okay, in this figure you can see that the comparison biological alphotron system and also the tonic nose system. Okay, you can see the raw signal, you get from the smells, the brain is the person signal, and neurons our neural system. Here we put the new networks for classifications. Uh, you can do you can use the another method. Okay, based on the table you can see that uh, component, the function of component uh, in the mammalian Olfaction system, olfaction system, and also inner system. So, nostril is for inner system, we have sampler. So, primary neuron, we have the sensor array. So, secondary neuron is the signal conditioning and also the copy processing. So, brain is the in the, in the inner system, is the pattern condition. The, that is the function. Okay, for sampler, we serve as the gas relations chambers. Sensor error, sense order, and collect the data. This one for signal conditioning and data processing. So we analyze and process data. And the last is for the recognition. Can we classify and identify the smell? This is the concept of the new system. We have the gas order, we have the sensor error, signal pre processing, and also classification. And last is the whole process of the class. This is an example of the inner system. Okay, uh, existing inner system. They use in the conservation of the big P. Uh, 
uh, to others, quality assessment of the vocal bean, and also the distinguish between apples and pears. So you can see that the humor is quite big and huge here. Yeah? Okay, table two is show that uh, component mechanism of sample preparation. That is the existing mechanism we use in the IMNO system. So we have the inflation techniques like sample process, static, headspace, and also means techniques. So they have a lot of limitations here. For example, here for emission techniques, lots of variable we use for dry sample process or time, time consuming to dry the samples. Uh, for static headspace, the time consuming complicated procedure and with the laboratory experiments. So, for means and techniques, uh, this is the conventional method that is to impurity of the sample or the sample contaminations. The first thing why we want to develop the IGNOS system here. So, it, from the previous um, Slide, you can see that uh, for existing INOS is really complicated sample preparations and also the complex uh, experiments with the heat budget, bulky size, uh, risky to handling procedure, boiling, heating, and water chemical. And also, if we use the botanist, so they respond to the fatigue, inconsistencies, and also exposure to hazardous uh, odors. So actually, when we start the project, we have discussion with the botanists from the Institute of Science. Science. So they have the, their own problem, which, uh, which is uh, they have a problem to recognize the plant species under the same family. So sometimes the, um, uh, the, the leaves is same uh, physical characteristic and also the same, it's quite same order, order from the species. So you can see the figure here, the shape of the leaves is quite, um, it's almost the same. There is the problem for them. Based on discussion with the Botanist and also from the review paper. So we focus or we develop a key herbs recognition system. So the system we just focus for herbs with the aroma. So uh, this is the intervention of the electronic botanic system. It's capable to reproduce the human sense using the errors, errors and also pattern precision system. So we try to develop Enos is portable type device and it's much uh, simple compared to the existing uh, technology. So easy to operate, faster to capture signal, lightweight and also better operated devices and user friendly device. The objective uh, of this project is to classify the herb species under the same family based on the aroma measurement using the air techniques to apply the moving average technique to overcome the redundancy of the data. So then to design and develop the type of the portable in our system. Okay, this is the first chart for each research uh, design. Okay, develop prototype, data collection, so pre-processing and classifications using the artificial network and also adaptive human fuzzy influence system. Okay, this is the board diagram of the immune system. We have the order of smells from the herbs. Okay, this is the sensor, number of sensor. We do the processing. Okay, then get the area of the data. So we develop the algorithm detections and then do the classification. Uh, lastly, we can identify the herbs. Okay, this is our is most prototype. Okay, so we get we have the blender or sample container here, and also sensor slot. Okay, we use the DQ and also GUI review. Okay, this is the size for the sensor is a small size. Sample is provided by agricultural conservative farm. We use 12 species with three different families. 
uh, we need a fresh leaf or matured leaf because we need a stronger uh, odor to for inos. Solution for education error. We use a uh, metal or such metal gas sensor in this project. So to select the gas sensor, uh, based on the chemical specificity in the tank, it helps. So based on the review paper, we can list down the common chemical compound for the three families. So you can see that from the table, alcohol is the common for the three families of the sample herbs. So for family one, so you can see that the hydrocarbon is the give the unique composition to differentiate the family one with the other families. And for family 2, the phenolic acid is the unique compound for this family. And for the last family, lentil and bezonite is the uh, unique composition for this family. Most gas sensor is the most widely used in the EDNOS field but not commercially available for the herbs auto detection. So therefore in the study we need a multiple gas sensor to detect the broad range of the chemical compound according to the photochemical of the herbs in the sample study. So for this project we select five gas sensor has the inos detection error. Okay the figure show that the Complete configuration for inos before we start do the data collections. This is a flow chart. Okay, you can see that the flow chart the process for capturing the response from the inos. Okay, <clears throat> from the flow chart you can see that we need to start with to pick it the sensor first because uh, we need to stabilize the signal. Okay, so we need to observe value between zero volt and one volt as the common baseline voltage for the gas sensor. So after that, you can put the uh, 50 grams of fresh leaf into sample container and do the processing or blend it uh, 50 seconds. So then first, uh, what you need to capture for first 60 seconds is the baseline of this capture. And then we had the response time so set is 120 seconds when you put the sample container on the sensor slot and the for recovery time so after you leave the container for the sensor sensor is 120 seconds so all the process capturing the signal response we done in 300 seconds so this is the example one sample signal okay in this step we call it signal preprocessing Okay, in this case, uh, usually raw data from the ignos is noisy, so we need to apply the moving average technique to smooth the data. You can see the figure here uh, after smoothing and for smoothing the data. Okay, this all the data from the output from the first sensor before and after pre-processing data. So here is the step for preparing data set. So uh, the signal helps guess one type is recorded in the two minutes so from 60 seconds uh, until 180 seconds. So you can remove the data before 30 60 seconds and also after 180 seconds. So from that you can get the new data. After done all the pre-processing data, so next we need to calculate the loss data. So because we need to know is it the new data set uh, is available to be used in the further process of the analysis. Okay, from the calculation, uh, we can see that uh, in the table, average loss data is very small is only 0 0.547 from the dat raw data so this data is available to be used for net process 
Okay, for this ANOVA, uh, we set offer level 0 for 0 0.05. So, based on the output, we can see that all the five input sensor is less than alpha level. So, that means that uh, the no hypothesis was rejected and the conclusion is the data was statistically significant difference for mean between the group or the herd species. In this features analysis, actually we was done mainly to find the best combination of the gas sensor. So, and then the combination of this gas sensor was applied as the input in the classification process. So, we do, we done for two, three or five, four, five features. Then the validations, uh, we use the Euclidean distance to calculate and to give the adjusted of results. So based on the calculation, you can see that if the highest value of this term, so it will indicate the best pressure in that time and to classify for the species. We based on this uh, result feature analysis, Three feature analysis and two feature analysis we can put in. Okay, so based on the result, we can see that uh, for two feature analysis, that is a one of signal, and for two feature analysis, the uh, we can see that the spatial is more clear compared to two dimensional protein. So we can indicate here is combination of three sensors will give a good accuracy results when we use this as the input for classifications. Yeah. Based on this result, you can see that the combination of the five sensors shows the highest value of the distance uh, will indicate that the better expressions, the data to classify for the species. So this combination of five sensors selected as the input for the classification. Okay, this is the last part, is the classifications. So, in this classification, we choose ANN and also analysis. So, based on the results, uh, we can see that the analysis give the good or the higher accuracy, 94.8% compared to the ANN. So, ANN only 91.75%. So, we can conclude that the analysis give the best classifier performance rather than ANN for this case. This project is still ongoing, so we now we improve our algorithms. So for feature reduction, now we use MDA, which is the multiple discriminant analysis. So from the figure, you can see that MDA has shown that the better separation between the herb species. And also we add more sample data, okay, from uh, more sample data is 30 here. And also based on that, we can develop the database for herbs uh, species based on the ENOS. And also we want to develop the database for ENOS, sorry, database for from the GCMS. So, based on the two different properties, physical property and also chemical properties, we combine using the fusion techniques. This is our next base project. Inos is one of the potential products applicable to small and big scale industry such as pharma. Uh, helps export government agency, for example, is Pharma, Jabata Pertanian, Freda, and Vista. So, this INUS also can use to assist uh, the researchers to identify the plant species without referring the botanists and also forest rangers. Also, this INUS helps the production system recommendation as the training tools to the new botanists and also for the stranger for learning and training process before they expert in that field. 
question. So, we successful uh, develop a system for classification of herd species under the same family. The sample production using the blender to cover the species will provide the avocado to be an existing in a system. So to simplify the complicated procedure and all over the operational cost compared to other developed inos. So in addition, innovation of this uh, electronic system was registered under copyright PM and also integrated circuit layout design for prototype inos. Is our publications okay? Uh, if you're interested to know more detail about this project, you can uh, search this um, journal paper and also conference paper. Okay, this one is financed uh, by FRGS okay, under project title formation of algorithm to classify distinctive auto spectrum of plant species under hybrid artificial intelligence. And also another client is a research instagram. Then uh, and simple. So as I said before, we got from the existing process in the mission. Thank you for listening my presentation today and for Muslim, Salah Adi Adha and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.